Okay, y'all. So, uh, I'm gonna. Go, I got. I got some grass. I gotta go cut, man. So, uh, I was hoping that Zach would be able to come help me, but he 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 couldn't get a ride or whatever. I don't know. Uh, that's just the you know. I mean. We ain't even really started working regular and he's already having problems getting to work. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I, I don't want to go into this season with all that going on, man. You know? Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, that's on him, dude. Uh, you know? Uh, but it's going to come a point in time where, where if he can't get a ride to work, I'm going to have to bring somebody else on that can, man. Uh, I hate that, dude. But damn, man. I mean, we're not even working even, even, I mean, we're only working a couple days a week, and, you know, and, and it's a challenge to get a ride to work. Just imagine working five or six days a week, the challenge he's going to have to get to work, and then the drama that it's going to create for me, waiting on him and hoping and praying that he gets a ride, you know. See, all that stuff right there, man, it, 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 it preys on, on, a, on a guy like me, man, because... I like to be able to, uh, you know, well, you know, go, you know, so, I don't know, uh, so he missed out on work today too, but he's missing out on a pretty good bit of money, I mean, he's missing out on more money than what it would cost for him to have a vehicle, I mean, I mean, he, he's missing out on that much. You know, uh, you know, and the thing about it is, uh, you know, I don't really know what, what's going to change between, you know, uh, now and, you know, six weeks from now, eight weeks from now, three months from now, what's going to change. I'm not going to be concerned about, about, <clears throat> figuring out if somebody's got a ride to work or not see and it just seems like that's just, that's what we go through every year and then you know something will happen where you know uh the guys that work for me they'll get a ride for a period of time and then during that period of time they're not seizing the moment they're not they're not trying to find a ride uh buy their own vehicle because in their eyes the way they look at it well i got a ride i don't really need to buy a truck or a car See, I got a ride, but what they're not seeing is what I know is that ride's going to end, and it always does. Nobody ever, 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 ever is going to bring you to work every single day and pick you up every single day. I don't know. I've never had anybody in my life that would do that. Now, uh, about the closest one would be my mom, you know, or my aunt. They've done that, but it was all not... Uh, a long-term, you know, wasn't a long-term solution. So, you know, so we was going to work about two hours. I was just going to do this one property. I was going to throw Zach 60 bucks up because we ain't working in a few days. And, you know, uh, I mean, we're talking about maybe two hours, you know. Uh, now I'm going to be over here, you know, uh, well, a lot longer. You know, and see, I anticipated on Zach being, you know, being available. He's available. He just ain't got a ride, and I'm not going to get him. I'm not going to do that, man. We're not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm just not, man. You know, gonna have to figure something out, man, because I'm not going to be worried about how, if I got help or not because of a ride. I mean, but this job over here paying me 150. Uh, and it probably cost me 20 in fuel uh, but I got to go on and get it get it cut down to where you know we can fall into the rotation of every two weeks I don't want to be having to go out here and do this one on uh, on Monday Tuesday and see if Zach don't have a ride Monday Tuesday he ain't gonna get no work because all the work that we got uh, Monday Tuesday requires him to have a ride to drive the other truck and uh, if he can't get a ride, you know, to and back, he's going to have to get a ride to work and back from work, you know, then he's going to have, he, he's not going to make any money because 
right now the way the weather is and all i can i can i can you know stretch these yards out and i can uh you know do them slow roll them you know you know if, if zach were out here you know coming to work and i knew that he had a ride you know then you know i can plan things better i can be more efficient i can there's a lot that i can do but you know he knew that he was supposed to work today we talked yesterday and you know and you know no work you know so well Ray, it's sunday man you can't expect a man to work on sunday well i mean i don't know i'm working on sunday and i, I would expect a man to work whenever he can to, to, to take care of himself uh, especially when we're not working you know, it rains, you know pretty much all week long so you know it's going to take me a minute to cut this one because of the of the square footage you know that's all it is is just mowing you know so if i had two mowers going out here well that'd be a, a lot better i got two mowers with me but i only got me so I don't know, man. I, I don't know how anybody expects to have a job and not have a ride to work, man. Well, Ray, he's always gotten away to work and all that. But yeah, man, but damn, it's, it's stressful, man. Well, that shouldn't really affect you as long as he gets there. But yeah, it, it, it don't as long as he gets there, but it does affect me because I don't ever know for sure that he's going to get there until he actually pulls up or gets dropped off. That's the only time I know for sure that he's coming to work. And see, that ain't good enough for me, man. It just is not, man. Can't take it, dude. I can't stand that, man. You know? Whenever you got to rely on somebody else to bring you to and from work, you're going to eventually run into problems. And your problems become my problems, you know, if you're working for me. Well, Ray, just find somebody else. Well, if you can't get to work, I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm going to be forced to find somebody else. In order to work out here with me, you gotta have a ride to work and home from work. That's what you gotta have. I'm not in the in the taxi game, you know. And I'm not mad, upset, angry, or, or anything. I'm just stating facts, y'all. I mean, if you are uh, out here and you're trying to, to work for a guy like me and you don't have a ride to work, well, you got uh, got problems man going into the season Let's see well Ray you should have sold him your mama's car I couldn't it'd been illegal for me to sell him that car so I couldn't do it I'm not gonna break the law so Zach will have a car that eventually he's gonna have he's gonna get impounded you know and then he then he'll be mad at me because I done sold him a car that well as soon as it gets pulled over it's impounded you know I can't sell you a headache an illegal headache I'm just saying so I don't know man I, I, I don't know what what the answer is uh, the answer is for Zach to get a ride the answer is for when he's making six or seven hundred dollars a week for him to pay for a vehicle uh, these guys that come out here and work for me they keep they drag their cell by not being right with their money and doing what they're supposed to do with their money. You know, I understand guys want to blow money. You know, I do too. But I'm not going to blow money in lieu of having a ride to work so I can make more money. See, you got to sacrifice a little bit to be able to, to get a ride. You got to be proactive. Your situation doesn't change uh, because you want it to. Your situation changes because you take action to make it change. You know, I mean, and the number one thing that I see with guys who come out here is they make that good money, and then they don't want to do what they're supposed to do with that money. They don't want to save it. They don't want to do anything with it. You know, a lot of times these guys, they'll have a ride, you know, that'll bring them to and from work for, you know, for money, you know, and that's good until it ain't. That's good until they can't bring you. You know, I don't know, man. I just, I, I've always been more of an independent kind of guy to where, uh, 
I want to be in charge of my uh, of, of my comings and goings. You know, I don't want nobody. I don't want it to be dictated by somebody else's how they feel or whatever. You know. You're just losing more more money, man. I mean, it takes money to make money. You know. It's frustrating, man, for sure. Uh, and, well, I guess what frustrates me more than anything, it's so avoidable, you know? Because no matter where you are in life, you, you know, you're probably going to have to have a job. No matter where you're at. And if you have a job, you're probably going to have to have a ride to work. And if you ain't got your own ride, then you figure out a way to get a ride and, and then everything that you got needs to go toward getting you and securing yourself a ride. Here <laughs> a hundred times, man. Uh, there's not a lot to do over here. This, this pays 150 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty big yard. Uh, it's, it's probably right around uh, uh, two and a half acres, give or take. So, uh, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get over here, but I'm gonna get on the X-Mark and get to cutting. We're gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut it real low. I ain't got no help, so uh, There's not a lot of weed eating over here or anything. It's all just uh, Mowing. Uh, I'll weed eat around that mailbox, but other than that, that's it, man. Uh, I'll mail put y'all on some time lapse somewhere uh, Yeah see. This is Zach's weed eater right here. So he's fixing to lose his head right here. And when he does, I got brand new ones. And when he does, it's gonna it, it, he's gonna lose everything. The the eyes right here. You lose the eyes, you're you're down. The weed eater's down. Uh, usually, guys that, that work for you, they don't pay attention to that. I I usually am the one that sees that. That needs to be fixed. Uh, it needs to be changed out. I got brand new ones all over the place. I keep them. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna weed eat right there real quick. One hour and ten minutes. So, and that's the back too. So, hundred and fifty dollars an hour and ten minutes. Uh, plus the ride time, about fifteen minute ride time. You know, it ain't bad. Uh, but, but they're on for the season. So, that's where we're at, man. Uh, I'm glad that they're on because uh, at the end of the day, you're trying to, you know, want to. Well, you go on, want to go on and get these customers lined up, uh, and then you can see if you got space for the new ones. That's why those new, you know, those new customers they they're secondary compared to the uh, to my existing customers. This is a good customer here. You know, his expectations aren't crazy. The money's good, and it's uh, it's an every two week deal, so a buck fifty. And then he, I do the bushes over here too and stuff. And usually pays about seven hundred dollars to do all the bushes, but there's a lot. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all. That's, that's it. That's all I was gonna do today. I would have been glad to give Zach, you know, uh, fifty or sixty dollars of the uh, buck fifty. I mean, you know. Just like I was showing y'all, uh, that's a wrap on this this right here. Uh, it didn't take me any longer than normal. Uh, if I'd have had another mower going, we'd get done, uh, well, just about twice as fast. So, but, you know, uh, if you got a lot going on or we got somewhere to be or whatever, then, you know, you, you, it's good to bring two mowers over here. But for me today, and there's, there's, he, he, there's not a lot of weed eating over here. He sprayed, he didn't want me to weed eat because he wants to spray all the beds. 
sometimes we'll, we'll hit the beds with a weed eater, but he didn't want to today, and I was like, okay, because, well, he, he says he's, he's going to spray this afternoon. It's a good time to spray. He needs to do that, man. Uh, but, you know, this is just a typical big property that you kind of like to have uh, because as long as you get, as long as they're paying right, because they're, it's big, so they need somebody to cut it, but it's, but there's not a lot of detail. Okay, y'all, good morning, good morning. Uh, it's Monday morning, and we're finally back at it. Uh, we're cutting grass, man. Uh, it's supposed to be real pretty today. Uh, uh, Semi-pretty tomorrow. I think it's going to rain on Wednesday. Uh, Zach was here and on time. And, man, I tell you what. Uh, it's it, this... Uh, yeah, let me grab me a drink, man. We are, uh, well, we're back to cutting grass. Uh, it's about a month early, to be honest, five weeks early. Normally, I don't start cutting no grass until, well, mid-April usually, you know, something like that, you know, beginning of April, you know, somewhere right around in there. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day today, a beautiful day tomorrow, and it's supposed to rain on... Wednesday they're calling for rain, so but we're good. It's it, it's it's 62 degrees right now, and it's uh well 8:15 in the morning. So Zach made it to work today. Uh, and y'all get this man. Uh, he, he 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 took an Uber this morning, and uh, he said it costs 18 dollars one way. Ooh, ooh, that's it. That ain't expensive really when you think about what it costs to. For somebody to get up and you know get in their car and go pick somebody up and take them to work that sounds that, that sounds pretty cheap but if you're the uh, the rider where <clears throat> you know $18 for one trip that's $40 a day to go back to and from work that's uh, you know $200 a week that's a thousand dollars a month give or take <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and you know that's expensive man uh when you look at it from you know the standpoint of uh of, of the the you know the the rider but from the you know other viewpoint from the uber and that i mean it doesn't sound you know crazy expensive or nothing i don't think you know uh yeah uh so we got what all we got today so we got uh some bushes that we're gonna be doing that's where zach's going gone first he's going over to get started on the bushes i'm gonna go over there and help him wrap up and then from there we're gonna go uh we're gonna do about 80 percent of that route uh the ones with bermuda grass they don't really want us to come so we're, we're gonna skip them and that's why we're doing those bushes. The people that we're doing the bushes for, that's a job uh, over there where we laid two pallets of sod right up beside the house uh, last year. And it was like a mud hole. It started raining on us. And I, I took a tree out over there. And the conditions over there, the logistics and everything, it's real tight. There's no place to park, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, uh, but other than that, it's just gonna be a it's gonna be a good day, man. Uh, roughly seven hundred dollars, you know, uh, and you know, for this route. Now I got more than that, more than that to do, but we're gonna, you know, just like every year, we slowly work into the season. Like yesterday, I went and took care of that bigger property out there. I don't think you got I hadn't posted the video I got it edited it's not much um, and I went on to take care of that bigger one so today we're not spending all morning going out there and doing that one I, I really appreciate all the comments on the Ferris one thing that's peculiar about <clears throat> the Ferris is you know we all think 
or like to think or whatever, oh man, that mower's worth more than, you know, $7,500, $7,700. I would agree. But at the end of the day, you know, when somebody tells you the value of something or you're trying to figure out the value of something, these type of things are only valued at what somebody's willing to pay you for them. You know, on paper, okay, it's worth, you know, I mean, on paper, that Ferris is probably worth $10,000, you know, on paper. In an in ideal situation, in an ideal buyer, you know, buying market. But I got it on there for $7,700 two days ago, and I haven't gotten not one bite, y'all, not one. So if it were a really good one, now, that, that, that's not, you know, you know, all it takes is one person, right? Uh, and as we get a little closer to the mowing season, it'll, it'll, a lot of these other mowers <clears throat> will become, you know, sold. All the other ones that are on there, the, all the, uh, y'all know, they'll get sold and then, supply and demand will dictate a lot too because there to be a, a bigger demand than supply so uh i got a quote from my dealer on a brand new x mark laser z x series and uh there's a problem there uh the number one problem is uh x mark and like a lot of other brands they uh are trying to well they're actually putting on A, uh, they're actually uh, uh, get to that roundabout and people are flying. Actually, on the newer X Marks, they're they are X series like the ones I got. I only buy the X series uh, Laser Z's. I, I, I ain't gonna say I only buy those. That's the only ones I've ever bought, and that's their top mower, their top you know commercial mower, just regular mower, you know, sixty inch. You know with the big pumps usually it's a 30 horsepower or better uh mower so you know they're trying to well they're, they're putting the smaller engine on them they're putting like a 25 horsepower on the laser z x series now i don't know if they've done governing the 25 horsepower engine up to justify that or what Cause I'm used to a certain amount of power and longevity, and I don't know, man. I don't know about 25 horsepower. Me paying fifteen thousand dollars, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, what does that say, man? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I, I don't. I don't really. I, I don't never any more that I got more than 25 horsepower. Maybe they know something I don't know, but I won't know that until I'm out. You know, fifteen thousand dollars, sixteen thousand dollars. Really, it's like fifteen four or some shit. They're expensive. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do what's what's whatever the smartest thing to do is, uh, money wise. <coughs> uh, yeah. So. I'm gonna go by there and pick that mower up today if I got time. I should have time because we're gonna be right over there by that dealer, and I'm going. I'm probably gonna end up leaving Zach on the route. Uh, you know. Now y'all see the neighborhood I'm riding through. This is what they call uh, in my area. This is called Summer Grove, and see, this is not my. These are not where I want to be, y'all. I know a lot of. A lot of guys had much rather have, you know. Let me show y'all. Much like properties like these right here. But see, I don't, I don't like them, man. I just don't. Uh, I, I the, you know, the logistics is is terrible. You know, a parking, uh, and there's not enough square footage to justify uh, good money. You know, if you try to, if you're over here and you're trying to get sixty or seventy dollars a cut, you're gonna have a problem. 
because they don't want to pay that. They simply don't want to pay it. Uh, and there's so much competition over here that they can they can get away for you know thirty five or forty dollars. Now a lot of these people over here do their own yard, but you see how small they are, and you see the logistics of of, of how of, of like you know where to park. I mean, I would I would just dread doing these properties, man. I mean, and this is one of the reasons why I hate being over here. Look, we're on a main drag here. There's no place to park, and this is I mean. This road right here is people flying down this road right here. Uh, the only reason why I continue to do this property is because, uh, well, they're good people, they pay good, and uh, it's on the way to being somewhere else. But I do not accept any more properties in here. Uh, and I've been doing these people's property for a long time, so, but I do not do the grass. If I had to do the lawn here every time, then that would be a problem for me. I'm gonna go on and hit the rose bushes. Okay, y'all, so uh, y'all see what we got. I'm gonna knock the rose bushes down to where they're about two and a half feet. And um, yeah, Zach's knocking it out over here. They weren't that bad. These bushes on the corner used to be taller than that gutter right there, y'all. Y'all see that? 